So are you guys ready? Yeah. Yes. All right. So yeah. So can you guys see my phone screen? Yes, Azika. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, Sanata and hi, my name is Azika, and today I will teach you about three editing apps. And um, and this, the these are the apps that we will learn today. So, uh, the app is CapCut, V L L O, and in short. Uh, from this few apps, I will go like uh in detail on CapCut only, and I will just briefly show you uh some features on InShot and real also sorry so uh, i will give you guys some time to install and i suggest you to just install the text type only since i will go uh in detail on the edge only so take your time Azika, I think it's all right uh, to just just continue on uh, teaching okay, because they will be uh, they will be watching the recording later. Yes. So uh, first, I will go with Cat Five. Okay. Um. Okay. Yeah. Take your time. Take your time. Yes. So first, today uh, for the first feature that I will teach you is for my for my okay. so uh if you open the cat guide you can choose any any videos that you want to use like this for example so for the uh for the format to choose it's actually here if you can if you guys can see it's here so the format feature is actually to change the uh the frame to the frame that you want uh like where you want to upload the video and then you can choose uh, uh, another frame like for example if you want to upload it on instagram you can use this frame but uh, and you, you can choose the frame depends on where you want to upload the picture uh, you want to upload the video or the picture so i will use this one so okay after that you can adjust the videos uh, and make it to fit the format that you choose so uh, the next feature that i will show you is this we call it as keyframe this feature actually uh, you can use it if you want to make some transition or you want to zoom on some picture or part that you want so uh, you can click on this from where you want to start the zoom and move the video and then uh, to the part that you want to zoom, you adjust the video until the part that you want. So, okay, let's say I want to zoom it like, until like this. And then it's done. Then you can try to preview it. And it'll be like this. Okay, and it'll be like that. So, uh, this is the example and then <clears throat> and then if you want to add uh, for example you don't want to use the original audio in this video you can just mute mute the, the original audio here and then add another audio for the audio feature you can either choose any song from your from your phone or you you also can extract the audio from any video so for example i want to extract a sound from this video so when you play we will make the sound from the audio from the video that you click and then you can just adjust the video to the part that you want and it will do something like this. They said don't just hit so sticky. I said thank you very much. I bet the whole world over and says thank you very much. Okay, something like that. So that's also the keyframe and audio features. Next. 
uh, I will continue with transition and free feature. So let's choose some new for some photos. Okay. So okay for the transition feature you just click on the on the picture and oh i'm sorry that if you can see there is this white thing okay click on that for transition and then you can choose any transition here so let's say i want to use this one okay and you can adjust the duration how long do you want the transition to be click uh the click and try to preview it. so it will do something like this so can you see the transition right okay then uh let's say you want to put a video and you want to freeze it at you want the video to stop at a certain time before you change to another transition so you can use the free feature let me show you okay for example Okay, let me change the format. Okay, let's see it looks like this. You play. Okay, let's say you want to freeze it at here, right? Okay. So click on the on the video and go go to the Please, please option here. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Then it will freeze at the part that you want, and it will continue again with the video. Okay, that's for the freeze. Then we will learn on overlay and chroma key. For the overlay part, you choose, okay, in this, or if you do a presentation and then you want a prettier background, you uh, you want a prettier background, then you can choose any picture that you let's say, I choose this one. And you choose this one, uh, a picture that you want to use as your background to make it longer. Uh, you follow the direction of your video and then click on overlay here overlay. Okay. add overlay and then click on the video that you want to use for example i will use this one make uh, if you want to do overlay and if you want to change the background please make sure that your background is either green or it's plain like there's uh it's just one color not like you sit on a wall, you know, just a plain background if you want to do overlay. Then, click on the video that you overlay. Search for the chroma key option, chroma key feature here, you can see. So, click on the chroma key. Bring this thing to the background, to the green one. And click on the intensity here. So, click on this. And increase the intensity. So, you will see the background. Okay, you'll do something like this. Okay, adjust your video and then you are done. Try to freeze it. So, it will do something like this. Or if you want to make a video and there is a, another video or another picture on the top of the video you can use overlay to okay, something like this okay let's say you want to use this video and you want to add another video or you probably you want to make some TikTok content or something you can use this overlay of uh, feature to click on the overlay and choose another video that you want to use something like this and then you can just edit the video that you overlay if you want to make it smaller, then you can just go to video. Then it will be like this. 
and you can choose where you want to start your overlay. Probably you want to start the overlay in the middle, you know, from the start. So you can move the video that you overlay to everywhere you want. To. And it will be something like this. The final result. So really something like this. So uh, that's all for the check part X. Do you guys have any questions or do I go to fast? You guys are good? Good. Okay. If you guys uh, have some parts that are still unclear, you feel free to ask. Alright. So can Hazika continue? Yeah. So I will continue with in short. Okay. Uh, okay. okay, for since today we are going to learn about video editing, so you can you click on this video and click in here. Okay, so choose any video or picture that you want. So I will I will choose this. Okay. For in short, if you want to change the format like from the chapter, we call it format. But the feature here. We call it canvas okay. so you can choose any canvas that you want depending on where you want to upload the video or the picture there's a picture option or something too. so for the music just in case you don't want to use the original audio you can choose to add uh click the add tracks here okay you can choose either you want to extract the audio from uh, any video that you have just like in tech type or you can choose any audio from your from your device or you can choose any effect for example you want to have a laugh or clapping effect so you can choose here okay. so next the this feature the IP feature okay. The, uh, the, IP, the IP features is actually have the same function with overlay if it was from uh, if in CapCut you call it overlay but here you call it the IP so just click on any picture that you want to overlay on the on the video then it will be something like this okay. so then you have the background as you can see here, there is a background, right? In the behind the video, there is a background. So you can choose either you want to. Uh, uh, it will be like this. If you click on the none, then there will be no background. Or you can choose to put any color like this. And it depending on what form, what canvas you choose. Then there is also free feature, something like. In something uh, it's same with the three feature from cat right? so you play the video and you press at the part that you want you can adjust the length to how long you want it to press and you play again okay and last you have the reverse reverse feature for the reverse feature it will take some kind of long but if you use this feature then the video will play from the back and also the audio will play from the back. Like, kind of like a one. Okay. Okay. So that's all for the, for the in short. You also, okay, you also can adjust the speed here like Normal speed is one, but if you want to make it faster, you can adjust it to to a little bit faster. Okay. So that's all for the inside. So next we have the LLO. Okay. So we for the LLO, it's in click here and you have to choose any any picture that you want okay.
So the aspect ratio is actually the same thing with the format from format feature in Cactite and canvas feature in InShot. So you choose which one do you want to use. So I will pick this. So as you can see, the transform here, transform feature here too. For this feature, actually, it has same function as keyframe in Cactite. Okay, you click here from the start, and then you move the picture for, to the way you want to zoom, and then you zoom it. Okay, like this, and then you can preview it again. It will be like that. Okay. So, for the background, oh, I'm sorry, for the audio, okay, audio, this app, uh, you can extract, uh, and you cannot extract audio from any video that you have. So, it only has BGM, sound effect, or voice over feature only. So for the BGM, they have option here. Any BGM that you want. Okay, let's try this. So click the key and then it will play in your video. You also okay for if you want to use the BGM instead of the original audio from the video, you can use it here. So it will only hear your the BGM that you choose. So for voiceover, if, if this you want to you want to present something and you want to use your own voice, then you can use this feature, this voiceover feature. Then you, they have motion speaker. It basically just speaker that moving, a moving speaker. So yeah, it's like that. There is also frame. If you want to add the and make it more like fancy, fancy, then you can put the frame. It will be something like this. Okay, let's see. And then there's template. It's also almost same like the frame feature. It will give like something like effect on the video. So there is a text. You can click here if you want to add any text like thank you or or something like that. Also section. If you like you voice over and you afraid that people might not understand what you say, you can add a section here and there is a uh, like fancy option then PIT PIT is basically just like the in short X is actually works thing like the um overlay in cat card so it will be like this so then there is filter you can put like filter on the picture if you want but the thing that i don't really like on this app on the lgo app is you need to have a premium version to access or to order the feature like adjustment with so for me i prefer to use the textbook one since it was simpler and easier to edit on that so I think that's all for my session. Do you guys have any questions? No. Right. Uh, very good. Very good tips, Azika. Thank you for that. So, Alhamdulillah, we are done. We are done with our program. Okay. So, uh, right. So, just want to. Uh, we just want to say. Uh, thank you for joining.